focus on me? Vacation time. You got everybody thinking of all bad. We are all true. She was always holding me down. You down. made it to Greece. I mean, <laughs> I mean, um, where we at? St. Lucia, y'all. We at St. Lucia. And I'm gonna give y'all a tour, but I'm gonna do it in the morning because, you know, we got here pretty late and we had stuff to do like we wanted to eat and stuff. So, um, but here's a sneak peek. It looks like Greece, y'all, for real. Um, but we just went and grabbed a bite to eat. We were supposed to do um, my best friend's birthday dinner today, but since we got in so late, we just decided that we was gonna switch it to tomorrow. We got a lot to do tomorrow too. I'll let y'all know all of that tomorrow, like excursions and stuff. Who that, Bri? What, what's wrong with you? <laughs> um, so yeah, the birthday dinner was supposed to be today, but we switched it to tomorrow. Here's a little snippet, y'all. I'm gonna do it in the morning. Okay, so that was a snippet of our first night on the resort, but let's go ahead and get into the villa tour so we can carry on with the vlog. We stayed at the Windjammer Landing Resort in St. Lucia, and we had a three-story villa. The villa was really nice. It was super spacious for all of us, but I will say that this is not a party resort. So if you're looking to party on the resort, this is definitely not that kind of resort, but if you wanna chill and relax, this is the resort for you. When you first walk into the villa, the first room that you can enter into is the room on the top floor, which is where me and Chris slept. Um, we had a balcony, nice bedroom, a vanity area, nice closet, um, and a nice bathroom, which I'm getting ready to show you all of that right now. <laughs> Honestly, y'all, this resort gave me Greece vibes. And I keep saying it. Like, if you watch my YouTube video, you'll see I see it a lot. But I think it was just, like, the material of the, like, walls and just, like, the architecture of the buildings and how the villas were made and stuff. And it was also nice to have this balcony off of our room. I will say we did not use it much. But we were there on the 4th of July. And we came on the balcony to watch the fireworks. And that was, like, a really nice sight to see. Leaving out of our room, we're gonna head downstairs and go to the main area of the villa, which there's another bedroom and bathroom down here. There's the living room, there is the kitchen, the dining room. We also have balcony area down there and also a pool. So let me go ahead and give you the tour. <laughs> I will say this pool was kind of small for the amount of people that we had in our villa, um, but they did have a couple of pools on the resort that we mostly used. So that's just me being honest. Um, we did have to pay extra to have a villa with a pool. 
So if you don't like the size of that pool and you feel like you want to stay in this resort, I would say it's not worth paying for because you can use all of the other pools in the um, resort. Here is the second room in the villa and this room is on the main floor. It's also connected to the balcony with the pool. So that's cool. And then it's pretty much the same setup with the bathroom, the vanity, the closet area. Heading down the last flight of stairs, there is one last bedroom with the bathroom, of course. This room was also cool because it has a back door, kind of like, um, I guess it's like a back door, but it takes you to st a stair area where you can walk down the stairs and go to like the main areas and get to the lobby and things like that. I'm going to show you in the end, but first let's just kind of check out the room. So this is the third balcony area and from this balcony we had access to be able to walk down the stairs to go to the main lobby area, the pools, everything on the resort. Of course we wouldn't do it at night but they did have 24 hour shuttle service so that worked for us. And this is our villa in St. Lucia. Hope you loved it. See you in the next video. Peace. We are up bright and early in the morning. I'm over here doing my nails because um, I came here with nails on, but I didn't want to wear those nails. Um, so, because I made myself a ton of press ons and I make my press ons now, I just snapped those off um, and I'm about to, and I just prepped my nails so I could put the new ones on. So this is what they look like right now. And I'll show you what they look like once I put the price ones that I made on. Okay y'all, these are the nails that I made myself. Um, so, today we are doing the mud baths, but we about to go have breakfast now and then get picked up for the excursion for the mud baths on the way to breakfast. We about to go do a little sightseeing. So I'm gonna switch over to my phone and I'll insert those clips and show y'all. Talk to y'all in a little bit. Peace. Let's go. Y'all just walking to the top, top of the hill. It's only hills here, y'all. I'm dying. Hold my hands. These hills steep <laughs> But it's good views when you get up here. But like, Ever since we been getting on the shuttles, like they've been asking us if we want to stop and get a picture. So I don't see why we could just do this with the shuttle. Cause we went up, we going up now. So we got to go back down to get a shuttle. I have to show y'all this, hold on. Now look at the hill. This is the hill they come down in their vans. And when I show you the corners is so tight, everything is hilly, it's crazy, but they be whipping it. Like, you can definitely not um, do these hills or draw these hills if you drunk. Not even walk at night because it's so dark. But, no, you crazy. Wait, we got to go all the way up there? Oh, hell no, Chris. That's right there. It's too steep. I'm tired. Then we got to come back down. Come on. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to go all the way up there. Damn. And then you got to go to the side because you know they be whipping it. Y'all, this is why I say it looks like we in Greece. Y'all can't even get a good visual. I'll show y'all in a second. Oh, hell no. Chris! <laughs> Look at the views, y'all. This is why I say it feels like we in Greece. I've never been to Greece before, but if I can imagine, like, the houses and stuff, it's like everything is like you walk upstairs. I don't know. It's just really nice. 
those are the new ones that's on the beach those are like the new construction because those have the um what's those what's those pools the infinity pools and stuff we have a pool but it's not an infinity pool so those are the new ones on the beach but we're up like on the hills those was the first ones to sell out yeah, those are the first ones to sell out. But like, if you see right here, y'all, like right there, can I zoom in? See, they got a little pool right there. Like everybody, everybody basically, I guess not everybody has pools. You definitely had to pay for a pool upgrade, but um, a lot of rooms got pools. And really you don't need a pool because that's the beach right there. And then they have like kiddie pools, adult pools and all that stuff down there, which is where we about to go to go eat. This is the area that we eat in. So we was at the bar down there last night and then we about to go down there to eat breakfast before we go to our excursion. Y'all look at the angle, look at the hill. This is the hill we walked up and this is the hill they be driving down <laughs> and they be whipping it, huh? Over there, that's probably like famous people, <laughs> like villas. No, those houses up there. They gotta have some money. You see where it's at? You see how it's like the little hill? It yeah. looks like it's a, a, a fence right there. Yeah. Leading up to that very top. That shit crazy. That's they, you know how they, Bro. oh yeah, that's it. Just George Foreman and Oprah. They said George Foreman has a house here and Oprah. I just feel like these people have houses in every country. I mean, I never went nowhere where they said George Foreman. So I guess he got, he here, but. When we, here. not he here, but I'm saying he has a house here, and I like what I wonder is because I know they're not staying here all the time. Do they just leave it as their vacation home, or do they like? I mean, they don't have to Airbnb stuff out or rent it out. No, I'm sure they probably got people to manage. Well, yeah, they got workers for sure. But this hill is steep as hell. Girl, I'm about to say, girl. <laughs> I keep yeah, trying to I'm make you one of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know your relationship cool. <laughs> like, bitch. bitch. Oh my god. I wanted to see one of the parrots and shit. I mean, we're going um when we go to the the mud bath, who knows what we'll see because it's by the rainforest, right? No, they said those are early morning birds, like Oh. What's it what's this? An early morning bird? So also, um, I don't know if I recorded that, but when we was on our way here, they was talking about like the trees they have and they have like banana trees where they grow bananas on. Um, and I knew that because I could tell by the leaf, like from knowing what a banana plant is, avocado trees to make your guacamole. What else? Oh, eucalyptus is a like famous tree it is. And it's so pretty, like it's such a pretty tree. And if I could take some stems off and take them home, you already know. They don't grab your ass. <laughs> and um, it was one more fruit. I feel like, was it mangoes or lemons or something like that? They said they send the bananas. They get them off the trees when they're green, so not all the way ready. And they um, send them to, I think he said the UK. Um... And then, like, a banana tree, I think he said, it does not grow bananas twice, right? Yeah, like, it grows bananas once, and then they cut it down and do something with it. I can't get all into that detail because I don't really remember exactly what he said. Cut it down and then it like, fertilize something. Yeah, like, regrows. Yeah. From the other. And then that's where you get your banana plants from and stuff like that. So, that was cool to know. Um, it's a lot of palm leaves and stuff out here. When I saw those, the first thing I thought about was flower arrangements. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing, Chris. <laughs> Look, y'all. Palm leaves. Oh, you can't even see it, but. That's the city of Brazil. But, oh, yeah, look. Let me show you. You can see, like, those hills. That's the city over there. We going downtown Friday, right? So we could try like the locals' food and all of that. And wait, we're back at how it looks on the outside. 
cute. See the palm leaves? <gasps> so cute, bless you. Bless up. <laughs> You're having a we are on our way to Sofer Springs. We're gonna be doing the mud baths. Wait, what happened? What happened? They got a radio show. Wow. I saw KFC. So maybe we can get Greg number. He could be our. Oh yeah, we can get KFC on the way back. Oh, this is a KFC. We could be like a show. Oh. Yeah, this is a taxi. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. We could Um, so the mud bath is called Sofer Springs. It take, it's gonna take us an hour and a half to get there, so we just gonna go with the vibes and we look at the views. Oh, that's the so burn down three times the entire city, burning three times. The last fire was in 1948. Wow. What is it called? Castro. Okay. Castro. Um, yeah, uh, it was caused by an electrical fire. Uh, a tailor shop caught a fire. Wow. And the entire city went burning. So 1948 was mostly of uh, wooden structured buildings. Wow. So that they swept through the city. Not enough fire trucks to handle that kind of fire. Just yeah. from the tail of shot going yeah. up the flames? Wow. Yeah. You see how the homes are, right? So one yeah, top yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So 1940, no private, if they had the two fire trucks, so they had a lot, you know? Wow. So they couldn't handle that fire. We have arrived to Sulphur Springs where we're about to do our mud baths. This is everybody. It was a two hour ride to get here. I almost threw up half the way, but we made it. Go join them. I was about to say I'm terrible. I'm doing terrible with vlogging, but actually, huh? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I've been doing pretty good getting content, just vertical content. But y'all can still see it in the vlog. But we um, have been back for a few hours now. And currently getting dressed so we can go to my best friend's birthday dinner. Which is located at, they have a place called the Upper Deck. And, what you Ooh! You look cute. You look cute, thank you. Um, it's located at the Upper Deck, which is a restaurant they have here. It's a steakhouse, so. Damn, it's hot. And we had to get dressed and the color coat was Neutrals. The mud baths were cool. It was fun. It was a nice experience. We got um, pictures and the tour guide that we had was really cool. So that went smooth and then we went to a waterfall. Only thing that issue we was having was... Huh? You want to talk about Casey? No, no. I was about to say we was not... That too, but we was nauseous on the freaking uh, ride. So, like, we just kept feeling super sick. But then we went to KFC because we wanted to try KFC out here. And y'all, at first we was like, oh, everybody here is so nice. But I think it's just like the people on the resort that's nice because they get paid to be nice. <laughs> but the people with KFC, nasty. Especially the females, huh? Okay. Let me lift it up. Thank you. The females were so nasty, like, it's just like, and then we went to a store, we had to run to a store and, like, the female workers in there were so nasty, it was like, okay, of course those things was off the resort, so I guess because, like, it's the locals and they clearly can see that we are not from here, they're like, like, why y'all in our, like, invading our space or something, I don't know, the, the, the KFC was good, but the people was very nasty, but anyway, 
Everybody is about dress. Chris has to get dressed. Got my sister Brie over here. She is dressed and taking selfies. <laughs> but um, I'll show y'all the vibe at the upper deck and everything when we leave. Yo, they just got, um, got finished doing fireworks. When I first heard them, Yo, I thought they was shooting. I'm like, they going to the I'm water. Like, right now, what is going on? I ran so fast. Yo, I'm like, what the heck? I think we all have the same reaction. Yes. We all got our own floor, y'all. So it's three floors in this villa, but I literally heard everybody like get loud. Like, what is going on? <laughs> Yo, that was something. But we went outside because we had like a little balcony outside our room to see it. So it was really cute. But anyway, um, let me finish getting myself together and then um, I will show y'all the vibes in a little bit. Let's do a quick outfit of the day. Or outfit of the night. Yeah, somewhere there. Cute little skirt, she in. Mm. Top, she in. Shoes, oh, I think this is out though. <laughs> Get on my camera. What happened to your bun? Hi, Move. I'm gonna fix your bun. I ain't know what you're doing. Look, yeah. me. <laughs> Well, my sister did my braids. Cute, right? I did her ages. This is from, I think this is from Shein. The brace, everything is from Shein. These, even the earrings. I'm just Shein out. They should sponsor me. But, um, yeah. My turn. Cute. I'm doing my one. Anyways, forget the one. Um, jumper from Old Navy. Hers from Amazon. What you mean? Aries from B Squad. Yeah. Bri, it's her birthday then. So we gotta, we, we, but we're gonna get down here if you wait for the garden. Got her. She might not have one. What is from? Huh? It's not a lady. What is from? Do they have it's a dupe. It's from Shein. Dupe from Shein. Glasses. I don't know. Shoes from Old Navy. Anklets from Cardi B. That's not what you want me to work with. Yeah. I just and yeah. here for my aunt. <laughs> okay, do your button so we Good morning y'all. It is day three in St. Lucia. It's the morning. Let's see if I can pop y'all up there first. Cause I'm using my phone. Um, we are about to go to breakfast. I'm about to meet some of the family down. Chris is still asleep, so he's not going, but yeah. Just waiting for the shuttle to pick me up. And I'll see y'all at breakfast. Chris, I'm leaving. Good. Okay, breakfast is over. We came back to the room and changed our bathing suits. And now, I mean, changed it to our bathing suits. And now, okay, we're about to walk to the beach. Um, you know, they got shuttles and stuff, but Bri is just on walking. Yeah, because I keep busting my ass on these stairs. Like, why they so high? <laughs> it's different lengths. Like, some are higher than Yeah. Others. So you don't know whether you overextended or underextended. Like, these are high. These shit's high as fuck. You gotta have horse legs. <laughs> oh, you hear my chocolate. I want to see the view. This is the view. <laughs> You're aggravated. So we are at the bar outside of the pool and we're about to try. We're waiting for one more. I think you're making it. These are the two. So each of the... Drink Chris sponsored me for that. No, 
course, of course. Of course. We know, we know. We, we just know taste testing. Yeah, we taste testing. We know how to walk away when we need to. <laughs> so, the bartenders have been, like their own signature drinks that they're making. And it's like a challenge of who has the best one. So, we decided to get all three of them. So we could try it and see which one is the best. So we just wait on our third one and then we're gonna try them. We got them, we're gonna try them, and we're gonna look at them. <laughs> the first drink. Okay, come on. You do your straw. Come on. Come on. Hmm. It's a very interesting it's like taste. A lime, like a lime. Right? Like a lime. Like a lime, but the aftertaste is good. Yeah. It's not bad. Hey, let's try that one. We might as well. This is good. And I didn't think I was gonna like it because it's the saying? second what's one. It? Wait, what's the really rated? I don't know. Like, I don't know yet. Okay. Let's let's try the other one first. Go ahead. I like the really like yeah. lemonade or something, right? That actually reminds me of the ice cream from the ice cream Like the cherry ice cream? Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. It's, it kind of, it's, it's refreshing though, but it's like um, strawberry lemonade or something like that. It is refreshing. I like this one. How does this one you like better? Mm. I think this one. I like the. Uh, <laughs> Bust it. Bust it real good. Bust it. You gotta try both of them at the same time. You got to try it. It's, a, it's such a nice balance. They are both good. It's such a nice balance. Yeah, I'm going to try the other one. I like, it's like a different taste. I like this one. I like this one. I think the slush. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. both. I like mixing stuff, so don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me. All right. So, I oh, guess we'll rate, it, that one, we'll rate it once we get the third one, and then we'll say, I think this one is my top, because I'm still going back to it. This reminds me of strawberry. This is like really long. Like a chocolate. Like you ever had a chocolate Tootsie Pop or like a Tootsie Roll? Yeah. We got an undertone of that. Yeah. But this is lime. This is like limey. <laughs> this one is like. That one gives like a cherry. Strawberry lemonade. Yeah. Or something. I don't know, but it's good. They all good. Let's see what his is. We ate, so. <laughs> all right. Can we get one more straw? That looks pretty. Mm. Very, like, I know, right? Okay. We're gonna try the third one, and then we're going to rate. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> this, this the one. <laughs> this is the. One. This is the one. It's the agreement, the mutual agreement. Both of our facial expressions. He said, "I thought." <laughs> That's, That's the, the one. one. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta rewatch this every <laughs> This one is called Panty Dropper. Penny tr no, he said Penny Trouble. Oh, Penny Trouble or Penny Dropper? One of them, but regardless, <laughs> we ain't dropping no drums right now. But, <laughs> but this is good. It tastes That's like good. a Del Capri Sun. Literally, yes. literally, right? Yes. Like juice with a with a, a little bit of with yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you teach me how to make that so I can make it up better home? This is good. Yeah. And it don't even, it's crazy. I like, I also like how it's, how you see the change in color. It's like yeah. transparent. Yeah. And you got the blue at the bottom. It's pretty and it tastes it's like good. Little, like it's little, pretty and it tastes good. Like a little ocean view. Mm -hmm. Ocean, ocean view. This, this deserves to be by the pool. Literally. <laughs> that's a, no, that's a real professional. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, that's the one. Mm. I don't even want to drink it because it's so good. Like, I want to hold on to it. It's just good. I should have my first one. I got a daiquiri. Got a what? Daiquiri. You got I made a, um, 
Oh, right. Is the dagger too heavy? Yeah. Or too syrupy? Syrupy. Yeah, it tastes like a lot of sugar. Well, we ain't got to drink it. I just don't like waste it. It's, it's half a glass. I ain't. We feel like. I'm good with the penny dropper. <laughs> I just feel as though maybe it'll be okay if we don't, if I don't touch the project everywhere. Right. I don't touch like the daiquiri. Like, because they'll be like, oh, they drink. But they fuck, I drink. Like, <laughs> this is good. Mmm. Yeah, thank you. It's the one. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. So, talk to y'all for a second. Um, today, this morning, we are about to go horseback riding. Um, we get picked up at nine o'clock though, so we're gonna go eat breakfast first. It's 7.42, so um, I don't even be having a big breakfast. I've been getting like watermelon, of course, because I just love watermelon. I'm so happy I can get it at breakfast, lunch, and a salad, and whatever. Um, because yesterday I had it in a salad, and, like cube watermelon was so good. Then for lunch, I had it um, on the side of my salad. And then breakfast, I had it on the side of breakfast. So, I just been eating like, um, you know, waffles, french toast, or pancakes. Um, scrimp, uh, omelet, because the omelets are really good. And then I'll have my fruit on the side. Um, the other day we had got mimosas, but we had an excursion after breakfast that day too. And y'all, I just kind of went, I guess, too heavy on the mimosas because and then also the streets that we are riding through like are so bumpy and just like they just so bumpy so i feel like the mimosas did not mix with the motion because it's like you riding on roller coasters and i was just not don't mind chris norio but i was just um super nauseous and i felt like i had to throw up or just felt lightheaded and it was just too much so i'm gonna hold off on mimosas in the morning before excursions Cause I've never been horseback riding before, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. I hope it's fun, um, but yeah, I probably just get like two cranberry juices and water to keep myself hydrated, and then yeah, I'll be showing y'all the whole horseback riding experience or whatever I can because, you know, hopefully I could like let one hand go and record or something. I don't know, but um, let me see if I should. Keep my phone on the charger. I don't think I'm at a full 100%. So I'm gonna keep it on the charger. I'm waiting for the rest of them to be ready for breakfast. And then we're gonna go down there and eat. And we get picked up at nine. And horseback ride is on the beach. So that should be fun. Um, so yeah, I just gotta put some lip gloss on. I'm gonna just take my lip gloss with me. And I think I'm gonna take my little car charger bullet because my phone died last time because everybody wanted to use my phone for like pictures and stuff because it was such good quality. Let me show y'all the picture we took when we went to the mountains. I didn't post anything yet. I'm gonna start posting today. Um, where is it? I got so much content, oh my gosh. Okay, this is, you see like, wait, hold on. melon and then you got your finger cute right and it's so clear and then we did this one which y'all probably can't even see that one but I'm over there in a the little corner right there it's cute and then We went to do mud baths, which I think y'all saw that already actually, so, um, yeah. But look at this picture. 
the god catcher of me and Chris. It's cute, right? Why is it blurry? I think that's better. It's cute, right? Anyway, I just wanted to talk to y'all and say, you know, what we doing this morning. Hi. Yesterday I didn't come back, but we did go to a, um, what do you want to call it? A block party yesterday. Um, and it was cool. They played a lot of Caribbean music, though. Like, they played some of our music, but it was real Caribbean. And I just find myself getting, like, tired of hearing all that music. Like, if you don't know it, I feel like when you go into the Caribbean islands, you really got to learn the music or you're going to be lost in the sauce because everybody is winding and dancing and you're just sitting there like, okay, I didn't hear a version of this song like five times. So, that was that. So, I'm about to go check on Brie and see if she is up and ready to go horseback riding into breakfast. And then I will see y'all in a little bit. Um, we stop before we get in the water, right? Um, and now I'm about to head down to the resort to figure out what I'm going to get into because, yeah, Chris is asleep, so just me. This is my bathing suit and cover up. Cute. Cover up is from TJ Maxx. What is this bag from? I think the bag is from Marshalls. Like two years ago. And the bathing suit is she in. Y'all already know, don't mind Chris snoring, but. Time to go. Sadly, it's time to go. Bye, St. Lucia. Just keep adding <laughs> 